everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we are back again with a two-in-one elite 89 review on the brand new elite 89 damian priest and dominic mysterio figures now we just got Rey mysterio and elite 88 similar colorway we are going to compare the two which should be awesome and this damian priest elite people are already praising it saying it is a wwe action figure figure of the year contender will it be at the top man who knows you know figures can look amazing but how well do they fill in the hand how well do they articulate and are they as good as advertised we're gonna find out here today man can't wait to get into it with you but before we do so man if you guys would like to grab these figures any of elite series 89 or any other wwe wrestling aew action figures go over to ringside collectibles use promo code md toys to save yourselves 10 percent these things look awesome man double jointed arms great details can't wait to crack into it man as you guys know we have the brand new packaging if you missed our reviews of the top picks 2022 or our review from yesterday definitely go check it out we'll go more in depth on the packaging but spinning it around you got the two images of the talents there on the back you have a brand new image and then you have the talent down here as well as a bio read if you want to read it you can pause it now also i really dig that they got rid of the image that's the same on the back of the packaging as the side you know it used to be like right beside each other it looked very odd but up there you got the series number name of the superstar right there sort of authentic on the side and for dom you have first time in the line down here because it's his first figure ever so there is that but with that being said guys let's go ahead and crack damian priest and dom out of their mysterio packaging i don't know why i said it that way but let's shut the hell up and do so all right, guys, so here's Dominic Mysterio and Damian Priest out of their packaging. I like what we got, man. Lots of great stuff going on. I mean, you're not going to crack open a figure in the modern day and just be like, this is god-awful, unless you're talking about the Elite 88 Trish figure. However, man, I like both of them, at least at first glance. I do have some gripes, which we're going to get into, of course, but I like it. I like what we got going on over here. We're going to dive into all the special things, man. So what we're going to do is take a closer look at Dominic Mysterio's accessories and Dominic, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at Damian Priest's accessories and Damian Priest. So for Dominic accessories man he doesn't come with a whole ton all right he does come with interchangeable fisted hands which are always lovely to see you know they're they're nice you'd like to see that and out of the packaging he does come with mic holding hands which are also cool you know no signature pose hands or anything and he also comes with a kendo stick you know so both your seth rollins and your dominant come with kendo sticks so you know you can add up the kendo sticks really quickly we've seen this a million times before don't have to spend a whole lot of time on it but the kendo stick is nice to see anytime you get a weapon accessory i think it makes the world go around so that is it for dominant accessories pretty much. Alright guys, so diving into Dominic Mysterio, starting out at the head sculpt. I think it has a lot of likeness to Dom. You want to know what the problem is? He's not looking straight ahead. He's looking up like this. Like, what is that, man? Jeez. That's the second figure now that they have done that on. Make him look straight ahead, man. Make him look straight ahead at all times. You don't need these, like, weird angles and stuff like that. I feel like it really throws the figure off. Another thing that I'm noticing immediately is his skin tone is just too dark for Dominic. Like, just because he's Rey Mysterio's son and just because he is of a certain descent doesn't mean he gets the same skin tone you know they don't like it, that's ridiculous on the back of the packaging you can clearly see that he has a lighter skin tone i think they could have either a made a new skin tone specifically for you know eddie guerrero dominic guys like that or they could have given him potentially a lighter skin tone just to see how it looked maybe they didn't it looked terrible I, I don't know but it's definitely too dark it's not like a deal breaker but it definitely is noticeable when you compare it to real life i still like the figure a lot it looks very very good i love what we got going on on the torso i don't want to be like completely sure here i'm not 100 percent sure but i want to say this might be a new torso mold it may be the jeff hardy slash dean ambrose one but i feel like it's a new one and i could be wrong about that again but um that's just the vibe I'm getting. You get the red and yellow squares on the chesticles, on the abdomens on there. On the back, you get the DM for Dominic Mysterio. His tattoos look really good. Double jointed arms, which look fantastic. No wrist tape, which kind of bothers me. Wish he would have done something there. Tattoos look really good. He has like the Seth Rollins crotch and lower here. So he is on ball joints. Great patterns going all the way around. You got the question marks, the DM for Dominic Mysterio. You got the crowns right here. Great looking kick pads and shoes. It's a great attire, man. I'm not the biggest Dom Mysterio fan, but this figure is pretty sweet. I like it a lot. I like the way it poses around it's got great posability double jointed arms probably not going to be an mdt anytime soon or anything like that however it does pose around nice and i like it a lot one thing i'd love to add to reviews would be like a short like pick fed like sequence or something with the figures that i'm reviewing like back and forth that would be really dope maybe one day i can implement that especially with the added articulation i don't think it would be that hard to bang it out real quick but i'm digging it i like the the dom material a lot i like all the details and stuff like that very colorful gear 
and he does match Rey Mysterio, which in fact, let's dive into some comparisons. And for your Dominic Mysterio comparisons, guys, here he is up next to Rey, and you guys can see they are in matching gear, like not completely matching, like the light blue is a little lighter over here on Rey, and this is more of a royal blue. The colors do look good, though. I think everything's matching well. These are some AJ Styles gloves I put on there just to see what it looked like on surgery, but I like the two figures up side by side. If you guys wanted to run a tag team, that would be awesome. You got Dom and Rey side by side there, but uh, overall thoughts on the Dom is pretty freaking sweet, man. And for Damien Priest accessories, guys, he does come with interchangeable hands. You have sort of these entrance style hands, and you know, we've seen these quite a bit. I didn't even know he wore like these black rings or these black things on his fingers, but that's that. I don't know if that's tape or rings. I don't know what that is, but Damien Priest comes with the entrance hands. He also comes with mic holding hands still featuring the rings on there, and out of the packaging, he comes with fisted hands or one fist hand and a mic holding hand. Was one of those? Okay, so I have the opposite right here. So you get three pairs of interchangeable hands, which is always beautiful. And then we get his entrance vest, which looks pretty good. I'd say, uh, I don't know, I like it a lot. You know, you got it kind of reminds me of the Elite 60, Elite 66 Triple H, or maybe Elite 63 Triple H. But it does have these little uh, shoulder pads on there in silver. You get nice details going on with the wrinkles and the leather and stuff. And you do have the zipper on there. He's got some pockets. He's got a nice collar on there. This could go on pretty much anybody. I mean, you could put this on pretty much any superstar. I think you could make it work and everything like that. I like the silver you got on the top there. So pretty plain Jane. No logos or anything like that, but that is awesome. And also I'm noticing that the Damian Priest is a Roman Reign skin tone, I think. So the fisted hands you could use for a Roman Reign. So that's beautiful. But that wraps up Damian Priest's accessories, man. He does not come with the US or North American Championship, even though he has the North American Championship on the back of the packaging. And it mentions the North American Championship. So, and that's his only career highlight, even though he's current US champion. But let's dive into Damian Priest himself. So take a closer look at Priest, man. Now this is a very nice head sculpt. I love the likeness that we're getting right here. I like the hair. I like the, you know, the little pucker lip there. Really good head sculpt right here. I like the skin tone as well. Necklace looks great. Lips look great. I mean, dude, this is a phenomenal looking figure. I love the hair. Tattoos are looking good all around the back as well. I like this torso for Damian Priest. So, you know, he's pretty ripped up. He's got his tattoos going all around the sides here. Double jointed arms, which is sick AF. Love the purple gauntlets. They, a lot of people were saying they may be a little bit too big, but, you know, at least they're on there. They're not just painted on, which I really enjoy. You could remove those and put them somewhere else. Great crotch mold right here. You got the ties in the front. Silver belt, which looks really good. It's like they went all out on this figure, man, because they even sculpted all of this chain metal and all this stuff going all around the tights right here in the purple. Even sculpted the pockets right here with the chains and all the colors, man. This is a sick figure. Like, Jesus Christ, man. Lots of details in this figure. Lots of great things going on. Knee pads even are multicolored or off-colored there with, you know, one silver, one purple. He does have edge legs, but... He is on ball joints, which is actually really, really shocking. Did not expect to see that whatsoever, but these are uh, edge legs, and my waist is a little bit loose, not like crazy awfulness, but dude, what a fantastic figure, man. He's going to be able to pose around crazy with those ball joint legs. He's, you know, he's on the edge legs, which is interesting. He's got the lower leg rotation there with the silver and the black and the purple. Really clean, man. I have nothing but praise for this Damien Priest, and I'm not, I'm not even a Damien Priest guy, so that's, that's cool. And for your Damien Priest figure accessories, not accessories, you dumb jackass, but for your comparisons i don't have any man i don't have any because uh we don't i don't have the basic first of all and second of all uh yeah I, I just don't have any comparisons right here but i do have the united states championship so this figure looks even more incredible with the championship man like i would say i mean outside of like a couple loose things here and there i mean this figure is top to bottom like just if you sit the you know the loose joints aside this figure is pretty like besides like the little bit of loose waist legs will probably get loose over time and like his ankle is a little loose over here this figure is um i mean i don't have any issues whatsoever with it which is pretty insanity man and it's damien football priest man trash corbin 2.0 at one point i did think that but he's gotten a lot better for me. When he when he started feuding with Finn Balor in NXT, I uh, turned a new leaf for the kid, the grown-ass man. But that pretty much wraps up our two-in-one review on Elite 89, Damian Priest and Dominic Mysterio, man. Again, like two really great figures. Compared to Bobby Lashley and Drew McIntyre, man, I do not know where I'm going to rank these figures. It, it's such a banger set so far. We do have Sergeant Slaughter and Nia Jax left, which could surprise me, you know? We'll have to see about those things, and I will be ranking them from worst to best tomorrow, so definitely be on the lookout for that, man. And since we have 
have all these brand new figures, man, I feel like we could do one big surgery episode, which I guess we'll have to find out and see. But overall, man, if you'd like to grab these figures, go over to Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when you shop over there so you do not miss out on anything, man. AEW, WWE, doesn't matter. Definitely go get in on it. But overall thoughts is I'm very impressed with both of these. I mean, a little bit of nitpicks with the, with the skin tone on Dominic and then him looking upwards, which I don't understand. But overall, I'm liking it. I like what we got going on here. And also, I feel like Dom may be a little bit too skinny as far as the torso is concerned. But overall thoughts, man, these, these are great. I don't think you'll ever go wrong with these. These are just immaculate, man. The figures continue to get better and better in quality from Mattel, and we love to see that. But thank you guys so very much for checking out the review. I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line like, uh, hmm. Huh. Do Dominic? I, I don't know. You cross the line, I've been